Do you have tight hamstrings? You are not alone. And if you have scoliosis or Sherman's kyphosis, there are some specific tips that you need to be aware of. Welcome back to TSC Connect. I'm Physio Andrea, and today we have a video that shows four common hamstring stretches that may not be recommended for people with spinal conditions. And we offer five other ways for you to stretch those hamstrings. Many people feel tension in their hamstrings. And please note, this tension is not always addressed just by stretching. Hamstrings can seem tight for a variety of reasons, like an underactive core or tension being held elsewhere in the body. So if these stretches don't address your concerns, please see a trained physiotherapist who can assess the cause of your tight hamstrings and provide you with recommendations that are specific to you. So here are five scoliosis friendly ways to stretch your hamstrings that are mindful of your spinal alignment. These movements are great for people who have scoliosis, Sherman's kyphosis, or hyperkyphosis, or those who have had spinal fusion. Just make sure to get clearance from your surgeon that you can start stretching. If you have questions, let us know in the comments below. And if you find our content helpful, please be sure to share it with your networks and your healthcare professionals to get the word out to other people with scoliosis. Enjoy these tips. The first hamstring stretch to avoid if you have scoliosis or Sherman's kyphosis is the one where you place your foot on a high chair or a high surface. The reason for this is that often the surfaces are too high and so your pelvis actually lifts up and creates an uneven pelvis and therefore your spine has to compensate. Additionally, lots of people reach for their foot here and you can see how this rounds my back, which is not something that we want when you have scoliosis or Sherman's kyphosis. The second hamstring stretch to avoid if you have scoliosis or Sherman's kyphosis is the long sit with the forward reach in a rounded position. This is really common in gym class or you might see this in some workout classes. Um, but what happens is it tucks the pelvis under and then you can see how my back is really rounded. And again, if you have a spinal condition like this, we're trying to keep your spine in a neutral position. So this is not ideal if you have either of those conditions. Similarly, there's another common stretch that's done in sitting where people are often in a straddle sit or maybe one leg is tucked in and then you're reaching towards one foot. Two reasons here, if you're reaching towards your side here, you can see how my trunk is really compressed, particularly one side. So if you have a spinal curve, it might cause a bit more compression. But then again, also, it encourages a lot of spinal rounding. So this is one that you probably want to avoid if you have scoliosis or Sherman's kyphosis. The fourth hamstring stretch that you might want to avoid if you have a spinal condition is the dynamic walking one where you step forward and sweep your hands. So this is often seen in track and field or if you're outside um, doing a dynamic warm up. The reason being that a lot of people keep their pelvis tucked under and then as they sweep, again, you can see the position of my back. And so there are some ways that you would want to modify this if you see this being done or you're being asked to do this move. Here's the first option for a scoliosis friendly hamstring stretch. Sit in the edge of the chair with both legs bent. Gently straighten one leg, not all the way straight, keep a gentle bend there, but keep your heel or your foot flat on the floor. Hands on your hips, elongate your spine, and then start to hinge forward so that you're bring, thinking about bringing your belly button towards your spine. In this position, it allows you to keep a neutral spine. You're nice and supported. You know that your pelvis is anchored evenly into the chair. And then you just bend forward until you feel a gentle stretch in the back of your thigh. And then you can still focus on pushing downward on your pelvis to create elongation. So this is a nice option if you have scoliosis or Sherman's kyphosis. Similarly, this second option is done in standing, but it's the same principles. So you can kind of lower down into a small squat and extend one leg forward, keep that knee gently bent. And then from here, same thing, hinge at the hips and think about bringing your belly button down towards your thigh. And so you can add the arm sweep here. However, be really careful, especially if you have Sherman's kyphosis. Often when the arms come down, it kind of 
the tendency is to round the spine as the arms are reaching. So if you're able to think about keeping your shoulders in the sockets and away from your ears, you can still do an arm sweep and trying to keep your back nice and neutral, okay? So that's the second option. The third option for a hamstring stretch is done in sitting with your back against the wall. So scoot yourself back so that your head, your upper back, and most importantly, your pelvis are touching the wall, okay? From here, bring both legs in front of you and slowly start to straighten them only until the point where you feel a stretch in the back of your thighs and none of your head or your pelvis come off of the wall. So keep yourself connected the whole time. You could do one at a time, so bring, keep one leg bent and the other one more straight, or you can try and straighten both at the same time. Um, this is really nice because the wall tells you if you're losing your neutral spine position. So it's giving you some feedback. So for people who struggle to know, which is really common when you're standing upright, oh, is my back in neutral or is it not? Using the wall can really help you to understand where your back is in space. And then from here, you're just trying to gently straighten your legs as much as you can without popping your body off of the wall. Stay really connected. We'll show you the fourth option, which is lying down on your back. You might have seen this in some of our workouts. Lying flat on the floor, again, the floor can give you feedback and can help keep you in a neutral spine position and supported while you do this stretch. Straighten both of your legs and then bring one knee up towards your chest. C clasp your hands behind your thigh and pull your knee towards your chest and hold it there. From here, you can straighten your leg without letting go of your hands. So keep your hands pulling your thigh in towards your chest. Straighten your leg until you feel a gentle stretch in the back of your thigh, and then you can release it. So this is a nice option for a dynamic hamstring stretch if you're looking for one, um, while the floor is able to keep you in that neutral spine position. This last option for a scoliosis friendly hamstring stretch is one of our favorites. Find a door frame and lie with your legs through the door frame. Then take one leg and prop it on the actual frame. So one leg is through the door and one leg is propped up on the frame. From here, you can scoot yourself forward to bring your pelvis closer to the door if you want a more intense stretch. But essentially, you can just lie fully relaxed here, and then you're just trying to straighten your leg as much as you want or as much as you can until you feel a gentle stretch in your hamstrings. But again, you can just relax here and without having to think about the alignment of your back and your pelvis and just allow the positioning to give you that gentle stretch of your hamstrings. We hope you find this information helpful. For more how-to videos and scoliosis-friendly workouts, check us out on TSC Connect. See you next time.